Honoring the only woman to ever receive a Congressional Medal of Honor, the highest award for bravery, members of Hillcrest High School's Army Junior ROTC took time to help spotlight Dr. Mary Walker. During the Civil War, Dr. Walker was writing letters to the War Department, I want to serve because she was a medical doctor, and she got really polite responses saying basically thank you but no thank you so Dr. Walker didn't take no for an answer. Dr. Walker, a surgeon, treated wounded civilians across enemy lines. She was later arrested by Confederate forces and served as a prisoner of war. Then in 1865, President Andrew Johnson awarded Walker the Medal of Honor. But the Army took back the recognition in 1917 because Walker wasn't a soldier. And when it was revoked, what I like about her is she refused to return the medal. In fact, she was buried with the medal. In 1977, nearly 60 years after Dr. Walker's death, President Jimmy Carter reinstated the medal and Walker's recognition as the only woman to receive the Congressional Medal of Honor. The ceremony here at the River Market is not just about recognizing Dr. Walker's accomplishments, but also about recognizing the impact she'll have on future generations. She opened a lot of things up. I mean, she was a pioneer in the women's rights movement. This marks the first time Walker has been honored in the state of Alabama. In Tuscaloosa, Chip Scarborough, WVTM 13. Pretty incredible there. It really is, especially being recognized now. We do have some breaking news.